Hi everyone, long time no see, but we're back with another fly tying video. And in this one we're tying what might be the easiest fly to tie, definitely in the top few easiest flies to tie for sure. You just need thread and a hook and that's it. Basically you just wrap the thread a bunch of times around the hook until you end up with a scud, bloodworm, grub looking sort of thing. You can make it whatever shape you want. I'll put a picture here of several that I've tied in different colors. And if you want to see me fish with all of those, I made a video about that. So click the link down below. I'll put a link to that in the description and also as the top pinned comment down below, I catch a, at least one fish on each color that I tied there. And uh, this isn't like the greatest fly in the world. It's actually kind of heavy. So it's a, it's a good nymph, it's a subsurface fly if you want to get down deep. Uh, it's kind of awkward to cast sometimes, depending on the rod that you're using. I'm a Tenkara angler, and so for me, uh, I have some pretty soft rods, and you're going to want a, a stiffer rod to cast this in general, I think, if you want it to cast well. If you just want to, like, lob the thing, then you can use whatever rod you want. But overall, it is an effective fly, depending on, of course, the color that you use. Some colors may work better than others. But uh, yeah, let's get into the actual tying. Doesn't really matter what hook you're using. This is a size 12 Firehole 413 hook. I like the shape of it. It's an interesting short shank dry hook with kind of a funky bend to it. And uh, that bend, like this bend here, gives the, the thread, the body, a nice, a nice shape. And speaking of thread, this is what we're using. This is UTC Ultra Thread. 70 denier, this is fluorescent orange. Again, doesn't really matter what color thread you're using. A thicker thread would probably be better, actually. Better than 70 denier, but I like tying with 70, so that's what I'm tying with. So you start off with your usual few wraps. Cut that off. Step one is to start wrapping. And there is no step two. You just keep wrapping forever. And go as far down the bend as you want. A thicker thread would make it easier to wrap. It would give you uh, fewer wraps. It would require fewer turns, fewer wraps, which would be nice. But again, I like 70. So this part right here, like this initial bend, this is really where we're going to be focusing. We're going to want a lot of thread, and I mean a lot, a lot of thread, lots and lots of wraps in that section. That's what we're going to focus on building up. We're not going to neglect everything else. We're going to, you know, keep coming down here and keep going back up toward the eye, back toward the bend, but we're going to keep focusing, keep building up this part. We want a nice thick midsection that's thick with three C's. Nice and chunky. That's what we want. And I'm going to just time lapse this and uh I'll, I'll put, once I'm done, the elapsed time, but you don't need to see me do every single wrap here in real time. Okay, I think that's about good. I think that's a good shape. Looks like a nice little scud or little grub of some kind. Let's go ahead and finish it off. five wraps. Okay, and then you can just leave it like that or you can put some glue on it. I'm gonna use some head cement. You could also use super glue if you wanted. Just to uh, Make it a little bit more resilient. 
And there you have it. The thread bug. Very simple fly to tie. Tie in whatever color you want with essentially whatever hook you want. Again, I'll put a link to the video of me fishing with these in different colors. You can go ahead and watch that video and uh, see it in action. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one.